Ay, ay, ay. All right. Look at all. Oh. Miss Kelly Mantle. Well, Kelly Mantle's, I'm going to tell you uh, the truth is Sheila from the Browns as well, you know, revived her career, like I said earlier. Uh, but um, she's, a, she's a necrophiliac. Oh. <laughs> no, she's, she's a little bit of a hypochondriac, but I like to say necrophiliac <laughs> yeah. on purpose and mix it in. Although, did you know that animals are necrophiliacs? No, I did not. You better believe it. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now back to Kelly Mantle. She's not a necrophiliac. <laughs> no, everyone. no, she's not a necrophiliac. But I was studying those serial killers, and this one serial killer was chop the heads. It was a, a couple, a wife and a husband, and they would chop the heads off these girls, mm. and I, I, they'd do their makeup on them and stuff. Wow. And the husband would have his way with the girls' heads. Wow. <sighs> All right, back to Kelly Mantle, Tammy. <laughs> Kelly Mantle and I also were in a group called the Rolls Royces for a while. All right. Mm -hmm. And we, um, we ended up performing in different little locations. I would get us most of the gigs because I'm very I'm ambitious, you know? And Michael was with me, Michael with the guitar. And oh, yeah, stuff. I love him. And we're together working together. We're going to be doing this Christmas special and some new material. But uh, Kelly at the beginning was a little apprehensive about working with him. And she's going to be sitting here watching this video uh, and laughing, you know, <laughs> and everything, because she just laughs. She likes to get me going on stage, too. She likes to really kind of do something to annoy me. Right. Because she likes to see my reaction. Uh-huh. <laughs> and that, because her husband, well, her lifetime companion, mm -hmm. Tony, he, um, uh, shout out to Sochi Pili, who's the Aztec god protector of the uh, male prostitutes and the flower god of pleasure, music, and all that stuff. Oh, shout out, Who is protecting yes. me, Sochi Pili. But anyhow, uh, um, he, she, he'd be like, well, something's going on. What was wrong with Tammy tonight? She was kind of up, irritated, agitated on stage. And Kelly just laughs. <laughs> Because she was the one doing, doing it, and purpose. she thinks it's funny. <laughs> or like, I invite her to do like my holiday special, and um, she would come on and do one of her instead of doing way off track and do something like my neck, my back, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> really, this is a holiday show, and you know she gets carried away with this. <laughs> And she's just, uh, she, but she's, she's one of my best friends, one yeah. of my dear friends. They get to say there was a community, because here in L.A., I don't feel that there's really a drag community as to whenever you go around the world or around other places, there for sure is a community in Texas and Virginia. Shout out to Integration with their wigs. They actually have, you know, Rhinestone Productions uh, communities. But here, I don't feel that we have such a community. But Kelly and I, we are very close and we're friends, you know, so... We, and she delivers on the Browns. I mean, great performances. Oh, yeah. She's more popular than I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at her. Jackie B. Now, as we, we briefly mentioned before, uh, she, ju she just got a, a crowdfunded facelift, I believe. Yes. And I know that one time she had gotten that surgery for her stomach. Mm -hmm. And I went to see her out at the Hawaiian Gardens out there, the casino casino hospital. Okay. Over here by Long Beach. All right. Well, it's not a casino <laughs> hospital. I just thought I'd throw that in there. If only. <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> yeah, especially right. Especially in these modern times. You know, sometimes when they perform those surgeries and they end up, like, leaving, like, a towel in your stomach or something. That would be bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Roseanne Barr whatever was the one who sponsored her first surgery. And I went out there with Travis. And I used to sleep in her bed uh, in her house, the other house she had out there, the one with the big garden that was never tended to. Uh -huh. <laughs> and one time we were grilling some stuff, and I turned on the one side of the grill and burnt up the top thing. Uh oh! Mm -hmm, but we blame it on somebody else. Thank goodness, because you don't <laughs> want the wrath of Jackie Beats. Oh, you know, I'm not too afraid, for, afraid of her. That's good. I'm, no, I'm not. I told her, I said, I'm booking you for this, um, my gala. I actually booked her. It was Lady Bunny, Coco Pru, and Jackie. Jackie was the only one. And Delta Work I invited as well, because I worked with Delta for years, and Raja. Rajna. Yeah. And, but none of them were able to, to do it. And then Sherry was going to come in too, but wasn't able to do it, Sherry Vine. But um, Jackie, I told her, you know, you have to be nice. I want you to be nice to the people, and I want you to sing your... GLBTQ, them, there, they, that song. Uh huh, yeah. Yeah, because I just think that some of that stuff is just too crazy for me. But you didn't the want Jackie, Jackie to be tart and spicy? No, I want her to, you know, be nice and I want enjoy people, you know? <laughs> right. Come on. 
She's so big and bold. I just love it. And brassy, she says, and sassy. Yes, she uh -huh. is. Uh, chew your head <laughs> off. And if you're in the audience, and you go, yay, Jackie. <laughs> you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I love Jackie. I really do. What was uh, that Tammy Brown, you did the celebration of Tammy around 20 years of Tammy. Wow. What was the experience of doing that, having a whole night? You know, we all do shows, but mm -hmm. this was really like a retrospective, a celebration, a, ga a gala. Mm -hmm. What was that like on you? Well, uh, oh, I want to say something else about Jackie D. Oh, okay. She also sponsored with the Kiss Nails for the box used to come with a two, like over 21 nails in there. And, and she would, she's, give me half of the box because they fit my fingers. So for about a year or two, back uh, 10 years ago or so, she sponsored nails for me all the time. God bless. Uh -huh. God bless her, oh Lord of heaven. <laughs> uh, the gala was it, was, it was, it was great. The attendance was great. We packed the house. Thank you to Jules from Long Beach. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we packed the house and um, I had a Michael Schmidt designer dress. I had uh, Beverly Lux designed another piece for me, a special fabric. My family came from Texas. I had uh, a lot of my favorite friends there, and I sent out invitations. And it, it was it was really nice. It was just very stress. It was stressing for me. Right, I can imagine wow, trying like, oh. to coordinate all the people, and mm -hmm. it's all about you. That's a lot. It was it was nuts. My friend was there helping, and he actually coordinates parties. So he said. My friend from Chris Odetta Milstead was his drag name at the time back in the day. Too. We had a hurricane party once. But he's like, get in there and just, you know, and sent everybody out of the dressing room and just made me stay in there and they took care of everything. That's good. Because it's hard for me not to be in charge of stuff. I'm in charge of doing everything all the time, you know, pretty much. And to relinquish that, it's kind of like, uh, to somebody else to take care of. You're like, what? They're gonna do it wrong. And I had I had Chris Bowen come and DJ, and then I had uh, some uh, other, I had um, Jose Guzman come take photos. I wanted Magnus, I did invite Magnus Hastings, but I didn't want, he complained about doing these kind of like box photos, or doing the photos, <laughs> I was like, well, we won't hire him. Because I surrounded myself with everybody from my career that I like to work with and had them there and be part of this with me. Yeah. So that was nice, and um, Dusty Cunningham was there running around doing the, on the floor photos. Must well, have been like great to have all, you know, all your history right there to, to peruse and love. It was fun. Speaking of your history, you've known this queen a long time. Look at her. Oh, there she is, Rajna. I, you know, for a minute there, you know who I thought she was, Alaska Thunderfunk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but Raja, we've been friends, so like I said, Raja is responsible for getting my jobs with Mario Diaz um, and Big Fat Dick and um, getting me the, when he used to, what was the hot dog, mm -hmm. the dance party. Do you have an old school memory of Raja? Old school memory? Well, that would, when she's in my car, oh, your car's so clean, <laughs> right. uh, Because what we would do in Long Beach, we would all work at the Starlet Review, is that what it was called? Mm. Um, and Lady Red Couture did this as yeah. well. And uh, this when she was working in the kitchen and stuff there uh -huh. at, at Hamburger Mary's in, in Long Beach. And that's where we actually started the brunches that are so popular all around the country. They actually started there in Long Beach. It was Psychedella. It was, uh, psych and Jules is one person that offered me that job uh, to be a brunch at. And that's what started the brunch. It's very small, and then it spread all around. It sure did, and now it's like, you know, there's the big corporate versions everywhere, too. I know. Okay, look at her. Oh, Tina Turner. We have to give you her every time you come, because I'm hoping to, for a new, a new side of your appreciation of Tina Turner. Well, I got so inebriated one night, I started to cry. <laughs> out of love for Tina Turner? Yeah. And she has a new book actually coming out, a spiritual book which I'm super thrilled about, but I would love to meet her. I'd like to talk about wigs. I'd like to talk about spirituality. It'd be fun to go over there, and I'd like to learn how to do the pony. Of course, and no one better to teach you than Ms. Tina Turner. That's right, it'd be cute. <laughs> All right, and speaking of divas we love, last but not least, look at her. The <gasps> beautiful Lady Red. We lost her this year. You guys had a long history. Mm -hmm. She loved you. I remember like working with her at the Hamburger Mary's and then I, this one I think I told you last time was my favorite story is she was driving by in the convertible and a friend of I think it, it was 
our friend Kevin at the time had the, if the convertible. She's riding, you know, big girl riding along. <laughs> the hair blown in the yeah, wind. Yeah, the hair mm -hmm. blowing around in the convertible. I just remember that so much. And then, then we were together at the Austin Drag Fest. You yes, know? that was a great time. And that was really nice, you know, to see her there. And then, she, and I want to say something. She was always very thankful and appreciative of her career and everything. And that was that kind of stick. That sticks out. Not kind of, but it sticks out to me how appreciative she was of stuff. And more people should, a lot more people should be that way. More appreciative of what they have, and it, you know, because we all working together. And now look how far we've all come. Yeah. Agreed. So. She was a bright spirit, and we'll never forget her. Any other favorite Lady Red memories? Uh, the big. Oh, this is this is so dumb. But so Kevin invited me. Kevin had just come to work at Hamburger Mary's, and he had this this house and this these estates in Long Beach that they were renting. And um, I come in, but he. I knew everybody, but I come in, and she was sitting there because she was with him, and this is not anything special story. But I remember he was like, oh, and everybody, this is Tammy Brown. Introduced me to the whole party, you know, like so grand. And I was just thinking, this is so dumb. They all know who I am. And I remember Lady Couture, I was thinking about her, sitting there thinking, hello, we know who she is, <laughs> you know. But we had that wonderful party with that champagne party at yes. your house, remember that? Yes, we did. At, at, <laughs> over there uh, with Miss, Miss Big, oh gosh. Madison? Yep. Yes. With T.S. Madison yes, came yes, over yes. to the house and you. We yes. did a little live and mm -hmm. hung out. That was fun. Good memories. We'll miss you, Lady Red. But won't forget. Exactly. Well, Tammy, thanks for being here. Always a pleasure to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to the Adam Joseph and Erica Tor Aviance. And thanks to all of you for watching. We'll see you next time on Hey Queen and Look at her. Hit it. Look at her. All right, Erica and Adam, they're looking. Miss Tammy Brown, doing like this Tammy does. <laughs> All right, look at her. Bye, baby. See you next look time. Now, camera, get the hell out of here. Go, camera, stop your spying. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that.